Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is on the Haybike Brawn. If you remember on the last ride, I had my uh, display fluctuating between its top speed or whatever speed I was going, down to zero, back up, down to zero. <clears throat> that was doing that before I did a uh, controller, um, not replacement, but a how to replace the controller video. And so uh, I knew it wasn't from that. So I contacted Haybike and said, hey, this is what's going on. They sent me a part. Let's install that part. Um, and uh, I'll show you how it's done. Uh, it shouldn't take but 20 minutes, but uh, let's get started on it. By the way, Haybike sent this part to me within uh, about 10 days, maybe a little less, a week to 10 days uh, within the very first uh, uh, conversation. Uh, she sent it to customer service, sent it to tech. Tech said this is what they believe it is. They uh, waited a couple of days, sent the part, sent me a FedEx tracking. Part came in. Uh, it's been a few days because I've been doing other things, but let's get started on this project. All right, so the first thing we got to do is we got to take the bike and flip it over because we have to change out this rear motor. So I'm just squeezing on the back brake and tipping it over. Typically I wouldn't have this piece of foam underneath me, but I'm using it just to give you a highlight of what I'm working on. Take it, tip it over, and go ahead and light, hold on to the fork, lightly set it down. Now, you probably didn't catch it, but I had taken the display, loosened the bolts, and flipped it over so it's not touching anything on the uh, top handlebars. All right, guys, the first thing we want to do is we want to unscrew the motor from the controller, and that's done right here. On the brawn, it's very simple. Screw it on here. Here's a little uh, wire tie. We're going to zip that or clip that wire tie off, and then we're going to pull it apart. Now the motor has been disconnected. Then if you follow it back, there's another tie right here. And now the motor is... Uh, is loose from the bike. Um, and now we have to take this off and do the same to the other side. So my derailleur is right in the middle, um, middle of the gear shift pack. Uh, I know there's uh, people that put it at the bottom, people that put it at the top. I'm gonna leave mine right in the middle. So once I get it all on, I'll pedal the bike to get it to, uh, to seat properly. But right now, all we have to do is undo this bolt here and this is bigger than an 18 uh, millimeter uh, metric and I don't have uh, I, I have a 19 somewhere but I didn't see it so I am using a three-quarter inch standard wrench just kind of give you an idea how close it is it's very close. Now we'll reach over to this side. Now at this point, if you're unsure of what you're doing, just take a picture. Now, from that point, you think, well, the wheel should come off, right? You kind of feel, wow, it's a little stuck. 
So what am I going to do? You've tried several different things, and you just say, man, I just can't get it unstuck. I can't get it off. Now, some bikes, as in this bike, this bike has a uh, couple of washers or a couple of uh, Allen sets right here. You need to remove those and pull this off. And then let me look on the other side and see if that's the case on this side. It is. So on this bike, we have to take these off. Many bikes don't have this, and they have just this squared thing. And what you do is you take your wrench, you come up here, and you tighten it around that square portion of the racetrack, a little wiggle back and forth. And that has loosened it already. Uh, that's enough. But I need to take these off. So let's take those off. All right, these are number fours, four millimeter Allen. Now we've released this side. Now we need to come to the other side and release it. Now on this side, there is no bolt here holding this in. I think it's by design because the guard fits over that. The way the uh, derailleur guard fits, it's by design. So now we'll take this one here. And here's where your memory has to be that you're putting the bottom one on to hold this on. Okay, so now the wheel should be loose. And, and this is the same thing you would do if you had a flat uh, and you had a major blowout and a t ripped tire. You would have to do it this way to out in the field uh, to get the tire off. Okay, at this point, if it, you, you have to move this a little bit to unseat it, and then this should pull right out. As you pull it out, reach back and grab your derailleur so you can pull the tire completely off like so. It's that easy, guys. It really is an easy process. Now at this point, we're gonna take the new one and put it back on. I will show you on the front wheel when I do that one for uh, changing out a, a inner tube and tire how easy that process is. But for this I just want to get this done because the video is a little longer than I think I want it to be. I want this to be under 10 or 12 minutes and if I show you how to change out a tire it'll be more than that. So I'm going to on the back one I'm going to show you how to change out uh, this issue motor and on the front one I'll show you how to change out uh, a tire Very simple. and here's the new one all right now when you set your wheel down into the frame you got to make sure that this it's this square the racetrack is straight up that this wire comes off the back side like so So let me kind of show you. When this is out, this is a this is a uh, this is kind of to stop the uh, motor from spinning in its uh, and ruining the the motor because so, you got to make sure that this faces down and into the slot, just like so. Once we're in the slot, there. Come back over to this side. And I just did that to make sure that this is all the way down in. Then we put this back on here.
washer, nut. All right, now we're going to put the nuts, the Allen's back in here. There. There. Now I'm going to tighten this as soon as I get the other side put together. This is two-sided, but it only goes one way, so put it in the right way, like so. Then we just put this up over like so. The locking washer on, or the de-washer on. Tighten it up. All right, now all I gotta do is tighten everything down and it's done. All right, we're all together. All right, she's back together. Let's uh, flip her upright and make sure it runs correct. At this point, uh, the job is complete. I'm going to give it a ride and make sure that that error does not come back. Then I will give it a, uh, a brake adjustment uh, because I took the back wheel off, and, and that'll do it. All right, guys. Got the hay bike fixed. We think we at least got the rear wheel uh, and motor changed out. And we're going to give this a ride and see if uh, we have fixed the problem. What's been going on is the speedometer uh, would get up to speed after about five or ten minutes of riding and then would fluctuate up and down, up and down, up and down. So uh, it happened before and after I uh, did the uh, how to change out the controller. So I thought when I changed out the controller, if it was a loose pin or something, uh, that I would have solved the problem. But it was not that. So I, I showed uh, Hey Bike what it was doing. She sent it to uh, customer service, sent it over to Technical, technical said, yep, uh, it's the motor. So they replaced the motor. And uh, here we go. But let me tell you, <clears throat> that's, that's pretty good service uh, from when I sent them what's going on to when it got fixed. So, just so you know, it's just an, uh, ju just take a video 
not if, if you can do a video instead of a photo a video kind of shows them what's happening rather than just a still photo doesn't really show them much so take a little short uh, segment of a video and uh, show them what's going on now on my last ride it was still happening so I just took a segment out of that video uh, I just did a I actually screen captured it I, I, I videoed the video just in that little area so they would uh, they would know and sure enough uh, it was well enough good enough that they they saw it now what it was doing was right up here I'm gonna I'm gonna play the same exact game I did just so we know I don't want this to be a long video because I'm already done and I made I don't know 12 to 14 minutes on the video so it would be nice to uh, not add a whole lot to this so I gotta quit talking all right well I'm gonna come up over here right here this is where I was last time I came to a stop just like this and I talked I said something I have no idea now what I'm gonna do wait till Truckee goes by and we're gonna take back off up this hill and I will turn around once I get up here and that should be enough to uh, to show it's not it's not doing it anymore so this was a video for Theo back in the day uh, back in the days a couple weeks ago but uh, he was wondering how it did up hills and stuff like that I don't have enough battery right now to show uh, how well it does up the hill but uh, not pedaling that is I'm gonna sign off here I'm not gonna sign away till I get home it's just a waste of time for you guys but it has solved the problem good job hay bike thank you for the very fast turnaround There she is. Beautiful. That's the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe below, and we'll see you on the next episode.